Hi guys, it's me Julia. I'm back again with kiln opening number nine. Uh, it's a new kiln load of glaze and it's some sets of different pieces. What I wanted to talk about first of all is the giveaway. Um, I said that I would give away a piece of pottery uh, when I got to I think it was a hundred subscribers and it's quickly spiralled up from there. I'm nearer 200 now. So I'm giving away a piece and it will be, there are two pieces and you can choose which one you want. So just put a like and a comment in this video and I'll choose at random from those people who like and comment. And the pieces that I've chosen to give away, either this baby vase in iron and textured turquoise. It's like a little bud vase. The other alternative is to have this plate with little feet on the bottom in river rock and saturation gold. I've chosen either of those two pieces because those will travel well. So wherever you are, um, it should get to you in one piece. If I did something with like a cow with horns, the horns might be got like gone by the time it gets to you. So I thought I'll, I'll choose something that's gonna travel well. So if you're interested in the giveaway, just as I say, do like, and comment and then from those people who comment i shall choose somebody to receive that piece so without further ado let's get on to the kiln opening so i'll not take you over because it, the camera's kind of finely balanced uh, i'll just dig in myself so here we go all right okay Okay, I'll stop staring and actually bring you a piece. Okay, top shelf. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna need to knock it off the shelf. It's actually still a little warm. I'm just gonna get my gloves on. It's only 65 and I have done it warmer than that, but it actually feels quite warm. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, so first off, not the best. <laughs> okay, so um, I see what's happened. It's stuck to the kiln shelf. Not because I didn't put feet on or anything like that. I don't know if you can see, it's actually collapsed and then stuck onto the shelf. And then as I've tried to get it off, it's cracked, which is a shame because this is actually the middle piece of a set of three. <laughs> I'll have to redo it, but I'll have to put firmer feet on. That's something to note. I only put tiny feet on it. So then it, it, they obviously weren't big enough to support the weight. That is really something to note for myself because I have been putting tiny feet on things. So, my first shelf that I've lost at kiln opening nine. That's a shame, but it is a learning curve, isn't it? Whoops, turn the light off. Right, look out, it just pops out. Oh. And the same thing has happened to the next size down. So that is definitely a learning curve and I need to buy two new half kiln shelves. Luckily it was on my half kiln shelves. As it is, they're a lovely pot. <laughs> I've just, the big one I made, I ended up smashing the mold that I was using. Um, so yeah, all over, I think I'll just choose something different to make. I'll not try to reproduce them. Um, but I have lost two half shelves and it's cracked in the same way. So huge big lesson for me. I need to put bigger feet on 
it was probably me being slightly lazy. So that's lots. But a nice combination of uh, obsidian and saturation gold. And I've done some carving in the middle um, with like a paisley design. Which I'd wanted to do for ages. So, but never mind. It, you know, this is a warts and all video. So this is about what comes out well and what doesn't, and what works and what doesn't. So that hopefully I can learn by it, but hopefully you don't make those mistakes as well. So, moving on. So first piece that's not a disaster <laughs> okay so I made this bottle uh, and I wanted to do it in different metallics so let me take my gloves off now I think it's cooled down I don't know if you can see let me think which is which saturation gold copper and this is actually palladium all on my core and then I've done it around in different and then black uh, obsidian on the top. Inside, just on the uh, top there is gold, but inside is actually white so that it's um, quite safe and I had a white to use for the inside. So I think that's a really lovely piece. It took quite a while to do but I'm really pleased with it. I've been experimenting with carving different pieces, so I'm actually really pleased with that one. I do have like a little spout, if it'll work. It's a little bit big, but I'm going to try to make some bottles like these that I can put these little oil pourers in. That one just slightly small, but um, that's my next goal is to do some oil pourer bottles. Right, okay. Next piece isn't mine, this is Jacob's. He wanted to make a little uh, key dish for his dad. So this is what he's come up with. We love Westies in this house. So he made a little plate with Westie on and did it with, uh, he carved out the Westie did it with the white uh, wonder glaze, the Bellissimo uh, glazes, and um, then did black obsidian, Amacot obsidian, and then I did a clear for him just on top of the, the under glaze. And he wanted to keep the back plain. It was his dish, so his choice. And I think that's come out really, really sweet actually where the white underglaze has touched the obsidian it has taken a little bit of the color out so there's almost a kind of a bluish background in the center but overall i think it looks fab and i know that he'll be really pleased with it and it's his dad's birthday tomorrow so he'll be happy and i don't know if you can see there's a little bit of texture just come through on the white for some reason it's not come through like pure white there's a a little bit of texture which works really really well um because it gives it kind of a fur look but it wasn't intentional pottery is a, a law unto itself okay now i have been making a set of rainbow uh, little plates this there are these are two of them so it started off as um chakra colors so if you hold it that way going from your base chakra red orange yellow green uh, blue purple and then violet started as that but you could do rainbow for pride or just anybody who loves rainbows um, so I've done like a stacking set. This is another one in a baby size. I've done like two stacking sets that should stack on top of each other. So we'll see once everything's out how they work. 
maybe could have done with a teeny bit more clear on the red so slightly bubbly but other than that looks fine oh on the back there as well i did um half of them in amico mulberry that's not too bad mulberry can be really temperamental so that's actually it looks a little patchy on there but in normal light it's not and the other half in snapdragon i really did put a lot of coats on but it's still i've got a hair on my arm it's irritating me so yeah next one okay let's move these a little uh dish now i did this one trinket dish this one uh in blue lagoon is that right yeah i'm sure it is blue lagoon and then i did a little bit of cobalt wash around the edge and then over that a little bit of clear glaze to just to protect it from the the cobalt so that it is food safe but if you see the cobalt wash has come down and just gone into some of the texture and actually has just heightened the blueiness of it because the blue laguna that i've done before can be you can see there on the back it can be a little bit um, patchy so i'm actually really pleased with that it's come out beautiful and the texture on the trinket dish it's worked really well that one's definitely a win all right this one looks lovely okay well kind of lovely okay so i had a go at doing my own kind of uh like i did a mug with decal and a drippy glaze on it there found it. and um it worked out really well but the decals can work out quite expensive when you're using those so i thought I'd have a go at drawing my own pattern so i drew like little swirly flowers in blues and a couple of reds and then i thought i wanted to give it a little bit more color than just clear so i thought well i'll put a celadon on it which are transparent so i put rainforest celadon on and then around the edge i put some uh, seaweed some blue lagoon and some emerald falls now i really like the edge i'm not sure about the rainforest in the middle over the decal maybe it was maybe i just did too much maybe on its own with just a fine edge would have been better but the rainforest is Again, it looks kind of patchy in the light, but it's it's much better in normal light. Yeah, love this edge and love the pattern. Just not sure if the rainforest is too much. Tell me what you think. The colors, the three colors, the blue lagoon, the seaweed and the emerald falls really work well together and give beautiful kind of i've been looking for something that represents the sea and i think that would work well maybe even with a little bit of snow on for the um foam on the sea i'm gonna have a think about that one because i want to do a big platter with the sea and sand on so right next shelf out Oh no! Ah. I think I've ruined like my whole shelf set. I've been putting these little feet on everything and they've been fine at bisque but when it comes to glaze 
um, firing at firing at 1190 they obviously can't hold up the, the clay so I've done the same thing with two other little pots so I shall just get these things out that are that have worked <laughs> There was always going to be one day where I had horrible disasters. Every potter has disasters um, from time to time. It's just, uh, this is my fault. It's just not putting big enough feet on things. But I didn't realise that, you know, the clay would warp so much that it would slump over the little feet. So, but anyway, two more of the smaller ones. There's another of the uh, the little set which is now going to be <coughs> not complete and here is one from another set I've done which is black and white which I really loved this uh, mini set so let's see right okay so another trinket dish this one I did with amico oatmeal and around the edge I did a manganese wash just lightly brushed it down around here. I really like the oatmeal, it has such a lovely texture. It really kind of does look like oatmeal. I really like that and it's not warped, it's come out fine. And another little dish, this one I carved. Can you see the pattern in there? There. I carved a pattern in, like a really lovely pattern. And I put some, oh, um, my brain's just not working today. I put some underglaze and wiped it back. So the underglaze would go into the pattern. Now, the problem I had was I did it at Greenware and when I wiped it back, it was, it really made a mess of the, the other clay that wasn't uh, carved. So I wasn't sure what to do about it. And I thought, well, it might come out once it's bisked and it didn't, it left it looking a bit dirty. So I thought, well, I'll put a green on it and that might hide that black kind of look. And it has, I'm really, really pleased with that. That's come out lovely. And that's the little feet. It's a really nice little dish, that one. So, I'm not even going to show you the shelf that's got two more pots stuck on. Uh, all right, let me get my gloves because I think it's probably hot. Oh, dearie, dearie. But anyway, it is what it is. And so I assume that the large one on the bottom will have done the same. Oh, it hasn't. That's weird. Okay, so yeah two well this is now now a nice wall hanging with some rainbow paint <laughs> oh good job shelves aren't too expensive right and so oh it has yeah that's so that yeah okay I'll get the things out that haven't. So some more from the set of these mini rainbows. This one's so I'll stack up what is actually I don't even know if this video is gonna go out because it's <laughs> just rather a disaster okay where's the rest well, there's the minis mini mini minis the mini ones are fine so here is the little mini set even down to look how tiny that little ball is and it even has tiny feet on so this is the little teeny mini the mini set of balls they are so cute. I love these minis. And then, oh, that one's all bubbly. 
cobbled. Okay, so this is just a real disaster from start to finish. <laughs> so, this is the black and white, it's bubbled. I'm going to see maybe if I could refire them. Maybe it's because I did really, really pack my shelves. Like my kiln was super packed. But I'm going to show you these all. There, another little mini set. So if it wasn't bubbly, it would be super. Like again, teeny weeny little pot with teeny weeny little feet. So yeah, just nice little stacking six in that one. Okay, so yeah, and there's a large pot to match the uh, two that are stuck on the kiln shelf. So I'm going to end the video go order some new kiln shelves. Note to self, don't overload the kiln. I do it every time, but this time, because things were flat, I only used like little, um, so I've managed to get kind of like four lots of shelves in. And I don't think that was so much the problem Obviously the feet were the, the worst problem, but lots to take away from that. And uh, still I have some nice pieces, you know, like some, some other little dishes have worked out fine. And I love my bottle. I hope that my disasters have helped you, especially new potters who are I'm still in the learning phase myself. I'm still working out what works, what doesn't. And I am being experimental and I am pushing the boundaries because that's the kind of person that I am. I don't play safe. So I'm, you know, there are times when I'm gonna come across um, hurdles. So this time I have, and it, you know, it has come in the, the same kiln but it is really my own fault so um i'll leave it there put your comments and your likes down below it and if you want to uh have one of the pieces and yeah i'm now gonna go chip some pots off my kiln shelf Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.